Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've rearranged something here, like I have a new, uh, how do you call those, stands that holds the phone and the microphone. Uh, whatever, I hope it looks good enough. So today it's time I do a review of, it's on the table, the Nokia 5500 Sport. And uh, actually it's time I also let you on something that I've been doing. Let's get into it and take a closer look on it. So, it eventually happened. Here's the phone and uh, this little rubber door snapped. This is organic rubber. Let's first talk about uh, the phone itself. If you want to buy this phone, well, uh, if you're a collector or just want to have this phone and use it, uh, when it was new, back in 2006-2007, this was basically a shock resisting body shell. Uh, this rubber was pretty tough back then, but uh, now, after uh, <laughs> these many years, now it's easy to get damaged. And apparently many people are saying that the ones that have the, <laughs> the rubber intact are rare. So this one was intact, but when I opened it to charge the phone, it snapped. What can you do? This is uh, another one that I have in my collection. Okay, a bit nice. And this is how it looks here. I don't know if you can see, well, it's snapped. I only pressed it like two times and it's starting to become sticky. This button as well. These one not yet, but are very close to it. The power button as well. And I also like this color much more than the white one. Yeah, so it happens. It's something you should be careful when you look for a phone like this one. And not just phones like this one, there are many phones that have a lot of rubber on them and they keep on snapping. So enough of this phone, if you remember in my unboxing video, I found inside this box another battery cover. And I was thinking to myself, I, this is the first time of, that I have unboxed one of these and I was thinking, what, they, they give you two? That's so pretty awesome. And then the seller called me and asked me if I found one of these in the package because if he can't find it anywhere on one of the other phones that he has to sell. And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I have it. Uh, if I can give it back. <laughs> and I was like, and I asked him, you said you, had, you have a, another phone to sell? And he, since he said yes, I said, well, okay, I'll take it. He, he paused for a second. Really? Yes. <laughs> and this is the phone. <laughs> Uh, not to be confused with this one that has it snapped. This one doesn't have the battery cover on. And uh, he says that it's new. It has the protective screen over it. Um, in my opinion, I don't believe that is new. I believe it is refurbished. Like... And since we're talking about that, how I know it? Because, dude, it looks too new and the original one doesn't have these unfinished grooves like this Nokia and every other phone company paid close attention to these details like in the center d-pad see the center button it's a bit to the left you know it it's it's like it's rotated a bit to the left and uh, that's a dead giveaway I know this and I didn't uh, talk too much about that with him I didn't actually care I wanted the phone and if it has a new body shell even better what would be even better if I found a new body shell to refurbish one of mine. <laughs> and I hope I can do that someday. Also, uh, in my unboxing video, I was missing the data to audio jack cable. But he had the spare one and he gave it to me as a gift. And I was like, oh, perfect. And this is it. This goes in the data and this goes in the audio. Nice. Now, this is unopened, but I'm, I'm gonna open it. Easy, easy. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, so it just clamps on. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> it stays in place. Good. And then you just I'm guessing you put this 
on your belt or somewhere and slide this in. Okay. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> you see something like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can put it either like this or like this. Actually, I'm gonna put it like this because I want to strap it to the belt. You can strap it on this side or on this side, which is very convenient. I'm gonna use this. I don't regret unboxing it. <laughs> right now, this is the phone we're gonna talk about. Let me put the cover back in here and this is the phone that I'm gonna put in the showcase so let's get with the technical specification also out of the way this phone was announced and released in 2006 as you can see it, it has a slot for SIM and one for micro SD card and it uses the BL5B uh, battery Now, someone said to me that it has uh, the same display as the 6230, but uh, I beg to differ because look at the display. I can put it like this. It uh, you can you can't even see the pixels. Here's the other Nokia. I don't know if you can see this, but this screen looks clean mate and this one looks uh, like it has some small dots which are actually the pixels and this screen it's a bit bigger than the 5500D so it's not the same display this one is superior if I recall this display is made specifically for the 5500D which is a 208 to 208 pixels one by one ratio it has a 235 uh, megahertz processor, Symbian 9 series, 64 megabytes of RAM, 8 megabytes of ROM, a 2 megapixel camera, MP3 player, loudspeaker, Bluetooth 2.0, stereo FM, so, and let's see, yeah, it's a Symbian device, you can guess by looking at the button here. Here we have the earpiece, it also, <coughs> it also has a flashlight, this is the power button, the D-pad or scroll key, how they say it, the instant swap key this is basically like a mini programmable button the t9 button this is the infrared port the edit key basically you choose how the characters are if it use small big or uh, uh, numeric this is a push to talk key the volume up and down or zoom here's where you can put a uh, wrist strap eyelet the how they call it pop port connector and uh, this is with the battery cover this is the battery cover screw and also it has uh, the charging port right here let's turn this one on just to hear the Nokia sound that's enough of this one now let's look at this one as you can see it has always on display which shows the date and time and the mode it's in the basically the profile which is offline now because it doesn't have any sim card in to lock and unlock it press the top left button and the star and it locks the keypad to unlock it the same thing the answer and reject buttons these are the top buttons that are programmable you can change whatever the function they have to turn on the flashlight you just hold the star Here's the flashlight. Let's turn it off. This uh, programmable button now it, it's programmed to open the music player, which is actually convenient for me since I listen to a lot of music. Here's the music player, the standard Symbian one. Uh, if I remember correctly, I have to transfer some of my non copyright music on it, which I will do soon. But first, let's talk a bit more. This is the menu, it's actually looking pretty good. <laughs> the normal messaging, in which you can uh, read, write, send emails or MMSs. The contact list, the dialogue. Immediately you have the camera, which is a 2 megapixel camera. 
I will take some pictures outside with it. On the camera you can do new what? Oh, you can uh, do still images and videos with it, night mode, sequence mode, self timer, and you can adjust the white balance and the color tone. Settings, let's set the, the quality to high. Image resolution the biggest, which is 1600 to 1200, yeah, to megapixel. Save it to memory card, which is not inserted. Or, oh, actually, this one has a memory card, yes. Length maximum. Maximum resolution is 176 to 144. Which I'm gonna use. Oh, this is gonna look so bad. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, this is what on that video. It also has a sound recorder, like every other Symbian device. Real player, flash player. My name is Flash Player. Music player, radio, I radio actually. The standard, uh, the standard Symbian gallery. Tutorial to show you about the phone. Services, which is actually the Internet Explorer. Sports, we'll talk about that later. My own navigator. It can connect to a GPS device, it doesn't have its own GPS. Oh my god, the snakes, the classic snakes, the 3D one. <laughs> Outbreak, or how was it called? Tools, the voice command, speed dial, profiles, speech, tapping. I'll talk about that later. In the organizer you have calculator, file manager, converter, zip, memory card, infrared, Bluetooth, and also message reader, which is not configured yet, it doesn't have a... Stop. It started to read to me, I don't want that. Now, let's talk about sports. Um, in order for you to see that, see the, the D-pad lights up with white, right? If I go into sports, it changes into red. Quick start. Basically, on sports, it has a pedometer, which um, tells you how you are going, how it approximates how many kilocalories you burn, how many steps you made. Basically, a fitness watch. <laughs> Diary it shows you what you did every day. Tests you can do copper test or bike test. I'm guessing it explains on everyone and every function what it does. I am going to use this function and give it a test. If, if I'm out of sports now, the D-pad lights up again with uh, white. Also, when you get into music, it lights up with green. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, let's go about the other special function that I wanted to show you. Wait, tools, yeah. Tapping settings. Reading M MMS messages. And tapping control to music player or training control or off. I'm gonna use it on music player. For example, tapping control it's on. So let's go into music player. Uh, I need to transfer some of my music. We'll be right back. Time to set up the Bluetooth. Here's what I'm using the button. See? Activate the Bluetooth. Visibility shown to all. Phone name. Remote SIM mode, no things. Now the Bluetooth is on, baby. There it is sent. It's been a while since I used Bluetooth the old fashioned way. This should be the phone. Um, yep, yeah, this was it. Receive. Yes. It fell. <laughs> NCS release, yeah boy. So let's see how fast it will send it. Bluetooth 5.0 versus Bluetooth 2.0. <laughs> like this little toy that I have that does uh, <laughs> light uh, that lights up and fun uh, depending on how the. Don't shoot there. <laughs> and now it's sending again. I'm not gonna waste your time and be right back after it sends. Alright, so I've uh, the reason why I couldn't transfer files is because, well, on Nokia devices, when you transfer something to it, 
it goes in the messages and uh, from there you decide if you, if you save it on the device or not and messages it's in its own memory so the that music was too big for it so when it comes to music let's hear the audio quality Here's a pretty cool uh, thing that it can do. We were talking about tapping, right? If I double tap here between the screen and the D-pad, is the play and pause button. And you can also double tap it on the sides. Double tap it on the right side. Right. It's kind of hard since I hold it. Goes to the next music. If I double tap it on this side, well, it goes to the next one. <laughs> Pretty cool when you're holding it on your belt, you know? You don't have to take it off, just tap it. The thing is you kind of have to tap it like you mean it, you know? If I tap it slowly, nothing happens. Pretty nice. I didn't know about the tapping thing, but it's a very cool feature. Now, time to take it outside for a spin and see what it's capable of. So I'm going to do a sudden transition when you least expect it. Now! Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's get a little running. Let's see what we can do. I'm hungry, chef. Now let's use the next awesome feature that this phone has. Look down here. So, the program is still working. I can minimize it and let's go to the music player. Because I haven't started it. And now let's use the tapping. And the music is actually on now. I think you can hear that. But I don't have... Um, and this is the annoying part, I hate this. Actually, let me change the music. Okay, this is better. Well, when you run, you also have the buttons on the hands-free. Next pause, play, respond, volume. Now let's do some jogging, boy. These cables are annoying. I'm tired of running, man. I can't do it anymore. Let's stop. You're gonna give me that if I keep running? Well then. No need for music anymore. The app is still running. It recorded some steps. So, you don't forget your promise, right? Good. Try to kick up. Yeah, I've kind of scratched it a bit here, here, and here. <sighs> Why though? <laughs> it fell off. <sighs> well, well, it's used anyway. It's not new. Oh, a new video for a body shell change. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's enough of that. Let's uh, pause it here and stop. So, unfortunately, I dropped it. But hey. We lost, uh, let me put it like this, so you can see, somehow. 
Well, let me read it for you. I made 1,069 steps, 49 kilocalories, and 20 minutes of running. Not bad, I would say. And it was all worth it because I'm gonna get that big sandwich. Oh yeah, boy. <laughs> I mean, hey, I know he's a man of his word. He's not gonna lie to me. And if he does, I'm gonna kill him. Simple, but yeah. Back to the Nokia room. That son of a bitch ate my sandwich. Well, I have something to do later then, but uh, this was my review of the phone. I've put it back in the box, actually. I haven't put it back in its uh, protective uh, foil or whatever is made of plastic because I want to change the body shell to it and I'm gonna make a video about that. So I'm gonna put it somewhere. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good spot. Also, someone asked me in the comments how bright can the screen go. So, let me show you like this. It's adjust, adjusting now to the lowest. This is how bright it looks. Well, you could see it when I was recording outside in the sun. Basically, it needs to be brighter in uh, daylight. I had to do a fail and drop the phone. Ah, well, switching off. Yeah, great, I have to refurbish one. Well, I don't, I wanted to refurbish one phone, but not that one. So that's it for this review. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot and I really appreciate if you do that. And, uh, and what are your thoughts about this uh, model? If I were to work out every day, this uh, would be actually very useful, I actually like it. So, until next time, uh, leave your thoughts in the comment about this phone. <laughs> Did you have this phone back then? Or do you have it in your collection now? In my opinion, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video and I wish you a very awesome day just like yourselves and all the best. Bye. Mm. Getting a bit crowded, but I'm not making any new shelf. <laughs>